Grade 5 math number 8. Multiply by one digit number. Okay, well, it's going to be a problem like this, whether it's hundreds or thousands multiplied by a one digit number. When we multiply a large number by a one digit, the one digit takes turns multiplying to each place value of the large number. So here's the one digit number. The first thing it would do is multiply to the ones and then put any carryover regrouping to the next place value. Then it would multiply the tens and put any carryover or regrouping on top of the hundreds. Multiply the hundreds and add that that was regrouped. And then multiply the thousands and add anything that's regrouped. Okay? And we regroup and add any number bigger than 9 to the next place value and carry it over, regroup it. Okay? So, here's what we've got. Four mice each ate 249 pieces of cheese. <gasps> wow, how much cheese was eaten altogether? So here's our problem. We have 249 times 4. So the first thing we're going to do is the 9 times 4. See? That's the first thing. And we get 36. So because we can't put the 36 here, just like adding, we have to regroup it and put it into the tens column. So the 3 goes up here and the 6 goes down here. Now we have to do 4 times 4. See? It's this one's turn. We do the 4 times 4 and we add the 3. See? So we get 19. We carry the 1 to the hundreds column and put the 9 down. Now we have to do 4 times 2. See? 4 times 2 is 8. And we have to add the 1 that we carried over from the tens column. See? From the 19. So 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. And we get 996. So what we're going to do is take turns going first to the ones, then to the tens, then to the hundreds. And any number that we have to regroup over, we remember to add them to the number after we multiply it. Okay? Poor micees, Right? Poor little mice. All right. So here we have this problem. 586 times 3. We're going to multiply the ones, then the tens, then the hundreds. Okay? So multiplying the ones, we get 6 times 3. That's the first one. 6 times 3 is 18. We carry the 1 and put the 8 down. Now we have to do 8 times 3, which is 24. But we have to add this 1, so that makes it 25. We carry the 2 over to the hundreds column and put the 5 down. Now we have to multiply 3 times 5. See, we went boom, boom, and now we're at the hundreds. 3 times 5 is 15. Plus the 2 is 16, 17. We put them here. Remember our comma. And we have 1,758. So all we have to remember is to go ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands if there's thousands, okay? So let's look at this one. 6,495 times 6. 6 times 5 is 30. We put the 3 up here and carried it over to the tens column and put our 0 down. 6 times 9 is 54 plus 3 is 57. We put the 5 here and the 7 down here. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 5 is 29. 24 and 5 is 29. We carry the 2 and put the 9 down. Now we do 6 times 6, which is 36. We add the 2 and we get 38. And our answer is 38,970. Okay? Even with money, all we have to do is remember the dollar sign, okay? 7 times 8, we do the 1's, is 56. Carry the 5, put the 6 down. 7 times 5 is 35. 35 and 5 is 40. We put the 4 here and put the 0 down. 7 times 0 is 0, but we still add the 4. So 0 plus 4 is 4. And then 7 times 3 is 21. We put the 21 down. We put our comma in, and we remember our dollar sign, okay? We can estimate and then find the product. If the problem is 403 times 3, 403 can be rounded to 400. 400 times 3 is 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 0 is 0, and 3 times 4 is 12. See? Doing the 1's, we do 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 0 is 0, and 3 times 4 is 12. We can do it again. 694 times 5 would estimate to and round off to 700. 
that's the closest hundred, because the nine tells the six to go up, and then when it's finished, it turns into a zero, and so does everyone else. Five times zero is zero, five times zero is zero, and five times seven is 35. We put our comma in. If we do it for an exact answer, we do five times four to the ones, which is 20, carry the two, put the zero down. Five times nine is 45, plus the two is 46, 47. We carry over the four, put the seven down. Now it's the hundreds turn. Five times six is 30, plus four is 34, and we remember our comma. All right? Let's do it with thousands. 5,013 would round off to 5,000 even, because the zero tells the five to stay the same. So we've got 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 0 is 0, and 4 times 5 is 20. And then to do it for an exact answer, we start with the 1s. 4 times 3 is 12. We carry over the 1 and put the 2 down. 4 times 1 is 4, plus the 1 is 5. 4 times 0 is 0, so we put the 0. And then 4 times 5 is 20. And we remember our comma after the third numeral. See? 20,052. Now, to solve for an unknown number, we go through the problem, and we remember that there might have been regrouping. So if you look at this one, and we needed to figure out what was missing, we need to ask ourselves, what could 8 be multiplied by that would end in a 6? Well, 8 times 2 is 16. That ends in a 6. But if we carried over the 1 here and did 8 times 2 is 16 and one more is 17, that wouldn't be a 1 there, would it? Okay, so it's not 2. What else can 8 be multiplied by that would have a 6 for the answer? 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 7 is 56. Let's try 7. If this was a 7, would it work? 8 times 7 is 56, carry the 5 and put the 6 down. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 5 is 21. <gasps> that works! So we could put the 2 here, we put the 1 down. 8 times 1 is 8, plus the 2 is 9, 10. We carry the 1 and put a 0 down. And then 8 times 5 is 40, plus the 1 is 41. And we get 41,016. Okay? So you see how I did that? I just went through the 8 times table to try to find an answer that fit, that if the carryover worked, it would work. Okay? So multiplying by a one-digit number, we just help the one-digit take turns going through the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, one by one. Okay? We're going to multiply by two digits next. I'll see you there. Bye.